You know, some gardeners have more produce than they know what to do with this time of year. And Twin Cities Live host Elizabeth Reese is no exception. So she's joining us from her Minneapolis backyard this morning with the salad featuring ingredients from the garden and an update on how things are growing. Hi, Liz. Hi, you guys. It's nice to see you. This is the time. Things are looking so good in the garden. Listen, I have a tomato forest. I'm not a real official master gardener who, like, prunes things in trellises. I just hope for the best, and I find the tomatoes that are in there. Um, I've got tons of herbs going. I have a lot of zucchini. The cucumbers are going. Um, I've got watermelon vines and squash vines vining all over the place, and I just let the chickens out. So it's a really fun time to have a garden. And, I, I, you know, I always like to say if you grow anything even if it's like a pot of mint you're a gardener okay you don't have to have acres and acres of gardens in order to consider yourself a gardener just gardening something is great because then you have something that you can consume off of your land so I love a caprese salad and this caprese salad is one that we eat on repeat this time of year this is probably the way that we use up the tomatoes the most and what's really fun when you grow your own tomatoes is you can grow several different varieties. So I can show you in here, I've got these little tiny yellow ones. I don't even remember the names because I just like pop them in and then they're, oh wait, those are, wait a second guys, we found something good. Those are blonde Kofkin <laughs> tomatoes. Mm. And they're these little yellow ones and they're so delicious. And I don't know if you guys know this, but the yellow tomatoes tend to be lower in acidity and then the red tomatoes. So I think they're more delicious to eat. So you can just dig in here and look, I mean, I've got all sorts of them. And then I have some bigger red ones that we're gonna use in this caprese salad too. And caprese is super classic. It's just a few ingredients and it's really delicious on its own. You can add some pasta and turn it into a pasta salad. I've shown you how to put it on sourdough and just make like a yummy fancy toast before too. Um, so I'm just gonna take the stems off of all of these. If I was gonna, you know, cook these for a party or make this for a party, I would probably wash them, but it's just for Bill. And you know, this is good for Bill's gut health to get a little bit of dirt in there. I am gonna just slice these up just so they can, they can look pretty. Do you guys have anything growing at the house? What's happening, Megan and Chris? My rabbit, the rabbits have pretty much destroyed everything in our garden this year, unfortunately. Yeah. We have- That happens. Yeah. My ch oh, go ahead, Megan. Well, no, I was just going to say we have leftovers from last year, like a scraggly little tomato plant with like two tomatoes on it. We've got the basil that I did plant this year, the leftover strawberries. We just didn't, it, it got away from me this year. So, no, it, my garden I think that's totally like okay. And no, but you know what? I've had years like that too. And that's the other thing to remember. This is like a real no pressure situation and you're always learning. I mean, you're never going to get to a point where you go, oh my gosh, my garden is absolute perfection and should be photographed. Like it's just, you're going to learn and it's going to take time and every season is different. While at the same time, there are things that you can do the same every season, which I love. So look how I'm just doing all the kind of different types of tomatoes and sizes here and I think this looks so beautiful now okay so once we get this set we're gonna add some mozzarella cheese if you can go to the store and find burrata cheese I really recommend doing that you can also do fresh mozzarella um, but I like to kind of just rip it up instead of having it sliced because when it's sliced I think it's like a little bit more rubbery so I would not recommend buying the pre-sliced fresh mozzarella because I think it's rubbery and it gets kind of gummy when you do this, it gets so much more delicious. We're gonna add some fresh basil, some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and salt and pepper. Now, the balsamic vinegar is what I wanna to get to though because not all balsamic vinegar is created equal. And there are some ingredients that it's really worth investing in, maybe the more expensive, the more premium one. And I wanna prove it to you with a taste test, Chris and Megan. So what you guys have there are two containers. One is you know, like a real young, basic grocery store um, balsamic vinegar that you might be tempted to pick up. And one is an aged balsamic vinegar. Do you have these? Are you tasting them? We have them right here. We were waiting for your go ahead on the tasting. So here we go. Go for it. So taste, maybe taste the regular one and then the aged one, whichever way. And then I want you to tell me the difference that you're noticing while I grab some basil. Are we double dipping? Let's just double dip, go for it. Well, I mean, the you aged can. is obviously <laughs> thicker. Yeah, you know, it's, yes. it's, it's a lot smoother too. The the regular mm. was a little bitter. It's got a lot, like I feel like the regular is good for like on a quick salad with olive oil or whatever, but if I'm gonna do 
The caprese, which is one of my favorite salads in the summer too, definitely the aged. It just is a little thicker it's, it, and sweeter. Yes. It's thicker and sweeter. You're exactly right. And it doesn't have that like vinegary bite that's uh -huh. gonna make you like pucker. And the thing is that is that a good salad is all about balance. The tomatoes already have that kind of acidic little bite, and so you don't need any more with the vinegar. So get the aged balsamic. Did I sell you guys on it? I don't have a financial stake in aged balsamic <laughs> vinegar, but I would like to. I'm sold. I don't even think I have regular balsamic at my house. I think we only do aged because we only do it on a caprese this salad. Is... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or if you're going to do like a flatbread and you want to do, you know, put a flatbread and, and do a little um, drizzle oh, of the vinegar. Okay, yeah. so I've got some really good salt, some really good cracked pepper, some delicious olive oil. And we're just going to put this over the top. And I, I will just tell you, I don't think anything says summer more than this to me. And this takes two seconds and I got half the ingredients from the garden and it is so much fun to make. So there you go, everybody, a summer caprese salad and a lesson in vinegar. It's very exciting. And you didn't heat up the kitchen by turning on the oven. You made it all outside just like that. Love it's it, Liz. here though. Thank you. Thanks, friends. All right, we're going to, yeah, I think she said see you. Bye. <laughs> uh, you can follow Elizabeth on Instagram for more from her kitchen and her backyard garden. Her blog is called Home to Homestead. She posts the recipes that she shares with us on Minnesota Live there. You can also watch Liz today at 3 o'clock on Twin Cities Live.